What's going on everybody and welcome back to another live day trading recap video in which you're going to see live recorded my largest single gaining trade since I've started trading this new system on SPY and it's the largest by a long shot too. It's actually the first trade coming up right here after the intro so get excited for that. Then, a little bit of spoiler alert, I also take my largest losing trade ever today as well. That one's actually not live recorded, so make sure you stick around to the end because I'll go I'll go over that trade at the end. But I, I guess it makes a little bit of sense. We moved just yesterday, we moved to a new two-minute strategy instead of a one-minute strategy. So it makes sense that we're seeing a little bit bigger trades. But get excited for the first one for the rest of the live trades and then stick around for the end where we'll go over the largest one. Hit like, it really does help. Hit the red subscribe button if you're new. With that being said, let's get into the live trades. Let me make sure. Yep. We are short here. Oh my, don't do this again, TOS, the not showing my trades thing. We are short 100 shares of SPY, though, at 391 and 2 cents. <laughs> Why? You've been showing my trades all morning. Now you're not working again? Flipping TOS. Anyway, you can see my position here. Hold on, let me, let me do the little drawing thing again so you guys can see. I shorted the open of this bar, so I shorted here. There. <laughs> Sorry, TOS isn't showing my, isn't showing my trades, but... We are up 10 bucks, kind of chilling, kind of chilling. SPY did gap down again this morning. Obviously, SPY was extremely weak all day yesterday. The algorithm crushed yesterday, right? Because it was easy to trade. It was an all-day trend. The algorithm shorted all these spikes, made, made bank yesterday. We made over 300 bucks yesterday. Um, if you watched yesterday's video and you're confused, I'll cover that later. Uh, I, did take a, I did take another trade during power hour. Oh no, my camera just fell. <laughs> no, my doggo cam just fell. Hold on, I'll go fix that. I'm gonna go fix that. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but today we got a gap down on SPY and we did just close the gap. Is this, you know, after yesterday's weakness, gap down, gap close reversal? Well, now that I'm short, of course, I hope it is. Uh, we're up 25 bucks. Hold on, I'm gonna go fix my doggo camera. I know I'm not getting out this candle anyway. One second. Ah. Don't worry, dog cam is back. Content is back. You all can watch. You all can watch my dog sleep while we chop around in this trade. No, <laughs> we are up thirty bucks. But once again, obviously, don't cover until break down this blue line. Nothing to worry about yet. Ain't it funny? You can be in forty thousand or well, thirty-nine thousand dollar positions now. A spy gets cheaper and cheaper. But <laughs> can be in $39,000 positions and walk away. Cause it's not like, it's not stressful. I know I'm supposed to get out. Here we go. We're up 60, wow, we're up 60 bucks in this trade. Let's get a breakdown of the blue line, shall we? Was that pajamas? Of course it's pajamas. What do you think I wear jeans to, to trade? If you're wearing jeans right now and you're sitting at your house trading, you're, you're clinical. You're absolutely clinical if you wear jeans in the house. <laughs> I'm always rocking PJs or at least at least some kind of sweats or joggers or something. I trade in a tux. <laughs> Look good, feel good, trade good, I guess, baby. Look good, feel good, trade good. <laughs> We're up 85 bucks in this trade. Woo! Money! So far, it's been the gap close reversal. We're still not looking to cover yet. Remember, it's got to break this blue line and it's got to close above the low of previous candle, right? We maximize these positions. We're up 115 now. Wow. Wow. Nice short. Very, very nice short so far. 30 seconds left in this candle. What is the blue line? The blue line is the low of three bars back. What's that variable? My cover variable is four. The low of four bars back is the uh, blue line. So one, two, three, four, it is representing this. It's representing this bar. Holy shit, we're up 150 in this trade. Hello? Okay, sorry, excuse the language, but oh, Chara likes it. Chara's active. That's my dog's name, look at her. No, don't yawn, it's exciting stuff, Chara. We're up 150 bucks. Don't yawn. She's looking at me. <laughs> I like the doggo cam. Let me know your all's thoughts on the doggo cam. I think it greatly improves the content. <laughs> 
Okay, so now, obviously, if this bar closes above this, whoops, I do not have my lines turned on, but if it closes above the low of previous candle, we get out. If it does not, we continue to hold. This is how we maximize our short positions, right? Wow, 160 up in this trade. Boom! Oh yeah, I can afford my new headphones now. <laughs> I've been contemplating buying these headphones or not. And look, I, they cost 75 bucks and I am, I am up 180. So I guess I could buy them, yeah. Wow, $200 up in this trade. Hello! Hello, we're up 200 in this trade. Sheesh! What the fudge, Sickles? There's a minute left in this bar. It might still come up and close above this line. Might get a small bounce here on this candle. We'll see, we'll see. Wow, so far so good for the strategy. But let's, let me know. Let's not give it too much clout yet. This has, for right now, been trading on easy mode. I know the markets suck for your investments, but this has been very, I mean, yesterday was very easy to trade. When you're in a trend like this, it's very easy to trade, right? Traders, traders love this market. Investors obviously are not having a good time, but as traders, we love this market, right? It's, it's super easy to trade. It's super volatile. It's very easy to predict. <laughs> when this spikes, close the gap. I was like, okay, gap close reversal. Obviously I, I didn't short because of gap close reversal. I shorted because my strategy said so, but still look, gap close reversal. Wow, three seconds left. Looks like we're not covering this bar. <laughs> we're up 240, 250. What the fuck, Lola Day? Oh, oh, spy, don't do it to me. Don't, don't run Lola Day. I don't think my emotions can handle it. I think my head might explode. Don't do it to me, spy. Don't run Lola Day here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, there you go. That's, yep, yeah, okay. Whew. My heartbeat can calm down a little bit now. Ooh, it's about to freak out. About to make $300 in this trade or something. Jesus. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Money. But hey, we don't pay, we don't we don't cover too early. So everybody everybody that uh gets angry when I don't exit a position and then it moves back against me, this is why we don't do it. Because sometimes you don't exit a position and you it keeps moving in your direction, right? It's where you make it's where you make the big trades. It's where you make the big trades. <laughs> cover some no <laughs> no thank you i will not cover some <clears throat> wow we're up 275 thank you holy shit oh we're up 300 <laughs> oh i've never seen 300 in a single trade not at least using the strategy i've never seen 300 in a single trade oh yeah <laughs> Capitulation, markets crushed. Let's go. <laughs> Holy sugar fire. Oh my gosh, we're up 340. What is happening? <laughs> Man, it's a good thing I didn't cover some. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Paul. I know, I know. But I've got to trade according to my strategy, right? I'll get out where my strategy says to get out, right? I'm not going to cover some because I'm up a lot. Like that's, that's an emotional cover, right? And I used to do that. It, hell, it was, it was just a couple of weeks ago. I used to take partials, right? But those were emotional decisions. It's not what I'm supposed to be doing. It's not, I'm not supposed to be taking partials. That's why I'm not anymore. <laughs> we saw that in our April journaling, we saw that our profit factor wasn't meeting the back test because I wasn't letting my winners run enough, right? That's why I don't take the partials anymore. All right. Is it going to, we got a new bar. If it closes above the low of this bar, we are out. We are up 320 in the trade. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm going to say it anyway. Surely this is setting up to be our largest single trade win of the strategy. Our largest single trade win. I don't even think is is 200 bucks. I think our largest single trade wins are like 190. Hold on. I'm trying to pull up the... Pull up the journal now. Our largest single trade win is oh it is it is over two hundred it's two nineteen. Okay, can we can we beat two nineteen in this trade? We're up three thirty. We're up three thirty. We should be beating two nineteen, but hell, I mean this candle could rip our face off. I guess Any, anything could happen. Is Trey showing emotions? Yes, I am. Woo! But guess what? I still didn't cover early, right? 
I say this all the time. Be as emotional as you want. Throw a chair through a window if a trade goes against you. Do a flip if a trade goes your direction. Just don't let the emotions affect your trade, right? I'm still, yeah, am I emotional? Yes. Am I covering because I'm emotional? No. I'll still cover where I'm supposed to, right? <laughs> wow, low a day push again. This is just hard capitulation and we are in it short. This is crazy. We're up 350 in this trade. Sorry, I don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, this part, yes, this part does close in five seconds. It's actually really close. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Did not close above, so we're still in. Did not close above the low, so we are still in. Time to retire. <laughs> we did it, chat. We took a $300 trade. My life is complete. <laughs> a <van> <laughs> Aventador, here we come, baby. 300 bucks? Yeah, I'm gonna take my ass to the Roly dealership and the Lamborghini dealership right after this trade, bro. See ya. <laughs> New low a day. We're up 380. Ah! No way, I don't see 400. No way, I see 400. Oh, don't do it to me, spy. Don't you dare. Don't you dare show me $400 in a trade. Oh, don't you dare show me $400 in a trade. <laughs> One minute left in this candle. Obviously trading two minute bars now. If you guys missed yesterday's video, I literally gave this strategy away in yesterday's video. I don't know what else I can do to create content to help people make money. L literally for free, gave you all this code yesterday. Now, I'm not saying you should just copy it, but, you know, you could have taken this trade. <laughs> wow. We did not quite see 400s. Why am I complaining about not seeing 400s? <laughs> Upgrade on the headphones? I know, I know. It, surely, surely it's time to buy the headphones now. <laughs> surely I have to buy the headphones now. <laughs> I can risk a couple hundred bucks in a trade. I can't bring myself to buy $75 headphones, even though I use headphones all day, every day. Okay, 10 seconds, and we are above the low of the previous bar. We may be getting out here, unfortunately. Maybe not, I mean, unfortunately, whatever. Okay, does look like we are getting out here. We made $333, 333 in that trade. How fitting. Wow. <laughs> Woo! New biggest trade by a long shot. Our biggest trade before that was 219. We just made $333 in a trade. And we're short here. We are short at 388.94. Coming off the back of our biggest win ever. Obviously, SPY is still very, very weak. I'm very, very happy to be getting in a short position on a spike in SPY right now. Um, and, and we're going to keep trading, right? I talked about this uh, the last couple of videos, but I'm not gonna stop trading now just because I'm up, right? You never, you never hit the whole, you never hit the five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar green days that the algorithm has if you stop trading. By the way, we're immediately up sixty bucks in this trade. Wow, we're up four twenty on the day. Woo! We hit four twenty. All my potheads assembled. We hit four twenty profits on the day. <laughs> Obviously, we're not out yet, so I mean, it don't. It's not time to celebrate yet, but. This could still, I guess, come against us, but I'm very, very happy to be shorting here. This feels like, again, like putting myself in the right situation, right? This spy trend, we get to short this spike. Uh, yes, please, right? Yes, please. <laughs> Doesn't mean it has to work, but it means you sure as heck put yourself in the right situation. Since it's not showing my trades, I'll put it here again. Once again, you can see my position here. And I guess I'll show you my monitor window for, for whatever reason you want to see it. Up 400 on the day. Come on, Trey, call it a day. No. No. <laughs> Chara left us. She came in here. She actually joined us, but she came in here. Did she get back in her bed? I can't see. Go away, chat thing. Chat thing? Oh, she didn't go in her bed. Chara, where'd you go? Doggy. <laughs> we need her good luck charm back. Breaking down, we're up 85 bucks in this trade. But still not below the blue line. No time to celebrate yet. <sighs> Try to turn trades off, switch to Tesla, and then turn trades back on. 
turn it back on here. Now, if I go back, oh, you're a genius. Yo, thank you very much. Who just said that? Who just said that? Who just said that? Stoby. Thank you. Is it specifically Tesla? It's probably not. <laughs> I know it's not. Thank you. There's our trades. Nice. There's the trades on the chart. Stock jocks chat is ruthless about you? I don't care. <laughs> Haters gonna hate, bro. Uh-oh. We're getting pushed against. No. Aw, it started breaking down. Now we're red in this trade. Mikey. What up, homie? What up, homie? Mikey's got a big stream today. Mikey's got a big stream today. Chara, come back. Look, you see, as soon as our good luck, look, as soon as our good luck charm left, now we're, now we're, Spy's running against us. Now Spy's running against us. <laughs> Chara, no. <laughs> Chara, we need you. Chara, come back. The bed is empty. The bed is empty and I'm losing money. Ah! <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to hate on his chat. We don't we don't stoop to the haters levels, right? Someone if you're successful in anything, someone's going to hate you. It's, it's just how it is, man. That's just the way the human brain is for some reason. Actually, I know the reason, but we don't need to harp on it. <laughs> If you're successful, somebody's going to hate you for it. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're down 120 in this trade. Oh, God. Okay. Is this... Watch. Now, here's the big spy recovery, and we lose all our profits from the first trade. <laughs> Once again, don't mind. Obvious, well, obviously, I don't mind. I take the trade where I'm supposed to, according to the strategy. And, once again, just in a thesis. Like, I do not mind shorting the spike where I shorted it in this market. But we are down 160, 170. Wow. Okay. Okay. Trey, you should have just stopped trading. Nope. No, I shouldn't have. <laughs> it's all about expected value, right, Chad? It's all about expected value. We're also not out of this trade. I mean, we could, we could still make money in this trade. Always cash out at 400. Nope. That is not how you trade. That is not how you trade. That is an incorrect way to look at trading. That a lot of people do. If your setup is there and you know your setup has positive expected value, you're supposed to take your setup. You are not supposed to stop trading. There went the... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can't afford... I can't afford the headphones anymore. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny you got this bro it's early well, I mean I still I'm still up I mean even this we're down 200 in this trade I'm still up 150 on the day <laughs> still up money but yeah big big spy bounce here big spy bounce here but you should have a stop loss amount I disagree with that too I mean, listen, there's a lot of different trading psychologies. I guess do what you want, right? All I can do is tell you my trading psychology. My trading psychology is if you trade, well, if you've back tested, if that's the first big major step, if you haven't done the first step, then nothing else matters. If you have back tested and proven profitability in a system, uh, you should be taking uh, every trade that at least you're around for, right? If you're sitting here and you see it take a trade, you should be taking that trade no matter what. Because you know it has positive expected value. You know it does. You should be taking the trade. It doesn't matter. Oh, I'm up $300, so now this next trade has worse expected value? No. <laughs> the next trade doesn't magically have worse expected value just because you're up a bunch of money. <clears throat> Shara, we need you. Hold on. I am going to go see if I can get my dog to lay back in the bed for the content. Hold on. There's no stop losses on shorts, and we don't cover until it breaks this blue line down anyway. Crazy, but I like the way you me. Hey. hey what are we down now? Chat 165. Brrr. 
No stops on shorts. Yikes. It's not a yikes. Not a yikes. I mean, there is... Okay, it's weird to say no stop because my strategy in and of itself acts as a trailing stop, right? It doesn't mean that I only look to make money on shorts, right? Like, like in, in a couple of bars, my, my sale condition is going to come all the way up to 390. There, there is some semblance of like a trailing stop built into the system, right? There's just no, oh shit, I'm down this much, I have to cover now. Just kind of stop. <laughs> Shopify? Is Shopify spiking? <laughs> nice. Strong Shopify? Okay. We're back up $200 on the day. We're down 120 in this trade. What a, what a, what a, what a morning. What a volatile little morning. $333 green trade followed by, uh, I think we were down, were we down 200 in this trade? Yes. Yes. We were down over 200 in this trade at worst. Now we're only down a hundred. What a morning chat all over the shop. This is content. Like, and subscribe YouTubers. You gotta, you gotta like this video. If you've never liked a video before in your life, you gotta like this one. There's some money. There's some money flying around today, isn't it? There's some money flying around today. For my Detroit players. There goes that. <laughs> okay. Is this a uh, higher low for SPY? Is this a higher low? It's kind of looking like that with the bottoming wick here. 30 seconds left in this candle. Blue line is, <laughs> our blue line is still all the way down here. The low of four bars back is still all the way down here. Oh wait, did my trades go away again? Wait. Oh, when I switched to Shopify, my trades went away. Oh, hold on, let me do the, let me do the, do I have to do this every time? That's so annoying. <laughs> Oh my god, that's gonna be so annoying. Do I have to do that every time I switch a chart? Think or swim? <clears throat> oh, you know what? You know what happened? You know what happened, chat? I know what happened now. At 10 o'clock, we got home sales. We got we got uh, macroeconomics at 10 o'clock. Ah. We got, we got uh, this, existing home sales. 5.61 million uh, actually missed consensus and went down uh, from this is this is previous and this is consensus. But that's what happened. We did get we did get macro news at 10 a.m., which is this bar. Ah, that explains a little bit. That explains a little bit. Make spy go down. <laughs> Yes, yes, I will do it. Don't like how Spy is holding here. Cat! Thanks for the follow. <laughs> uh, the new follower. The new follower sound is so good. There you go, Spy. We're down 75 bucks in this trade now. It's a really, really nice recovery from we were down over 200. <laughs> You actually did it? Yeah, I did it. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. My sub sound is ridiculous, too. My sub sound is ridiculous, too. <laughs> Woo! We're, up, we're only down 30 bucks, chat. This is why there's no stop loss on shorts. <laughs> not not this specific, not this one specific trade. But over time, shorts like to do this. Ooh, this bar, okay. Yes. No? Yes. Okay, we are now safe. If so, we are now below the blue line. So if this bar closes above this low, switch to line drawing. If this bar closes above the low of previous bar, we're out of the trade. So we've now got some protection at least. If SPY does continue bouncing now, we're at least going to get out of the way of it this t on this bar. Or if it can break down, we'll stay in. Question mark. Question mark. Should have skipped it and got the headphones. Of course, yes. Of course, yes. <laughs> every every red trade I shouldn't have taken, yes. Of course. 
Yo, Trey, that trade lost money. Why why don't you just why didn't you just not take that trade? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I know you're joking, Aaron. I know you I know you're just messing around, but but there are people that are actually like that though, is the funny part. <laughs> Trey, couldn't you tell that spy was gonna go up there? Oh, after the move happened, you could tell? Thanks, man. You're yeah. Great chart analysis. <laughs> Oh no! It is spiking into us on the end. Oh, spy! Ah, at least, at least it broke the blue down. At least we get to get out the close of this bar. What a morning! What a morning! From three hundred thirty-three dollars made in the first trade to we'll see how much we lose in this trade. Thirty seconds, we're out. Unless we get extremely lucky and it big cracks in thirty seconds, I really doubt that happens though. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ow. Fifteen seconds, right of this bar. It's gonna be a big loss, but we're still gonna be up over triple digits on the day because we took such a big win in the first trade. <laughs> so it's all good, baby. Okay, we are out here. Uh, we did lose a hundred and sixty, hundred seventy in that trade. Yep, this just became a long candle. It barely broke that red line, but it did break that red line right in the last tick. Okay, we are now long spy. We have decided, well, the algorithm, the backtesting strategy has decided it's time to long spy now on the dip. RSI is above 45. Uh, and spy broke down the low of eight bars ago. What's my buy condition? The low of, oh, three bars ago. Above 45 RSI broke the low of three bars ago. We are long. <clears throat> Excuse me. Semis are up. Might be time to load up on puts. Yeah, you're a little late. I mean, you could have been shorting if you th if you thought the spy trend was going to continue. You could have been shorting it, you know, during the spike a couple of days ago. It already just got crushed yesterday. I don't know. Whatever. Do what do what your back testing says, right? <laughs> back test your strat and do what it says. <laughs> All right, we're up 40 bucks in this trade. Wow, SPY is very volatile today. It like looks like it's barely moved and we're up 50 bucks. <laughs> <sighs> Same kind of situation as uh, the shorts, except we're using the green line, of course. The green line is our exit line. And with the longs, we wait for it to close below the low of previous bar. Not, not if it closes above the high of previous bar like we do with shorts. The maximizing is a little bit different with longs as well. Let's see them. We have flipped our bias to long. Still not showing my old trades, but at least it's showing this trade. TOS, the TOS show trades thing has been messed up this week. Whatever. Once again, you guys can see my position. And you can see this trade at least. All right. A really hot start to the morning. And I mean, heck, we're still up 150 bucks. Still been a good morning. Second trade wasn't as fun though. <laughs> See how this third trade goes. Char is back this time. We have Char for this trade, so our good luck, our good luck charm is here for this trade. Let's see. She walked away last trade. I'm telling you, that's what happened. I'm telling you. Especially if we make money in this trade, that confirms it, right? Two out of three, that's enough scientific evidence for me. <laughs> So it's decided you definitely switch to longer time frames. Yep. I have to. I've kind of been forced to, right? I can't afford to trade the one minute scalps anymore because they quadrupled the fees, right? Now paying 92 cents a trade for the SEC FINRA fees, I just can't trade the one minute chart. It takes too many trades and doesn't have a large enough profit factor. That's why I like, eat, as you're seeing this morning, each one of these trades has much larger moves, right? Um, but you kind of need that to outperform the new fees. My TOS is showing my trades. It's it's showing this one. It's just not it's not showing my other trades. By the way, we're up eighty five bucks in this trade. Still not above the green line yet, though. Is this a big V bottom recovery on Spy? I mean, it's all. I guess you can already call it a V bottom recovery. But are we going to get continuation now? We get continuation through this. Oh, we will see. We're up 90 bucks. 
Still not above the green line. <laughs> Back up 250 on the day. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Oop, oop, oop. Can we push through? Can you push through this? 110 bucks up in the trade. Oh, did that break above the green line? Oh, it didn't. Okay. This actually did not break above the green line yet. So if this breaks down, that would really, really suck. <laughs> uh. Okay, it did break above the green line. So now we at least have some breakdown protection. But we will not be exiting this bar unless it closes below this line. It's got to close below the low of previous candle, right? It's the new maximizing strategy, of course, that allowed us to maximize and capitalize on this short this morning. Zillow is running past the highs. Wow, why is Zillow going up? Did Zillow get over that uh, huge crushing they undertook when they bought too many houses? What happened with Zillow? They like they like bought too many houses and couldn't afford to make the payments or some crap, wasn't it? Like, are they are they over that now? Are they starting to bounce? I mean, obviously they're starting to bounce. But... They bought a bunch of houses, yeah, and got shit on with ERs, yeah. Okay, this bar will close in 40 seconds, and then the next bar we will be getting out if it closes below the low of this bar, of course. We're up one, we're up 120 in this trade. Not too shabby if you ask me. Isn't it funny how like as you start to take bigger and bigger trades, your emotions come down and down more? I used to get super excited for hundred dollar trades. Now I just took a three hundred dollar trade, so this is like kind of mad to me. <laughs> It's like, damn, dude, I want, the, I want the rush of a $300 trade again. hundred. What am I going to do with 100 bucks? I don't want this. <laughs> okay. Please at least open above the green line. It does. Okay. So if this bar closes below this bar, we are out of the trade. <clears throat> we shall see. It's funny how you can be up 150, but the emotions from being down to max loss feels bad. You mean like how you're not as emotional when you're green as you are when you're red? Of course. I mean, that's just kind of how it works. <laughs> Your mind, ooh, oh, 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 oh. Maximizing! Oh, back up over 300 on the day or up 160 in this trade. Hello? The Chara trade, I'm telling you, chat, the dog. The dog, the dog has been here for two trades. What's happened for two trades? The dog wasn't here for one trade. What happened on that trade? <laughs> Let me do this stupid hack to get my trades to show back up again. Oh, it didn't even work that time. <sighs> Whatever. You guys can see my position. <laughs> TOS is being so annoying. You can see where the algo entered too. I entered right there, obviously. 183 in this trade. Look at that. Look at look at how that look at how the algorithm switched into this long bias at like the perfect time. Okay, well, maybe the perfect time was down here. But still, look at this week, 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 week. We made a bunch of money shorting yesterday. We made a bunch of money shorting this morning. And then we flipped along and boom. Crazy. High of day, by the way. High of day on spy. We're up 200 in the trade. But we don't get out, we maximize, so anything can still happen, right? Anything can still happen. No need to celebrate too hard yet. Have you tried changing time frames? I think that'll make trades show up. Uh, let's do it. <gasps> Wait, did you just do something? <gasps> you just did a thing. If I change the time frames, the trades come up. Thank you. Thank you, Timbo. I'm getting a lot of like... <laughs> I have to do a lot of like scammy, crappy things just to make my trade show up. But okay, we are on a new bar. If this bar closes below this bar, we are out of the trade. We obviously hope that doesn't happen, but if it does, it does. There you go. Changing the time frames makes them appear. Okay. That's something I'll keep in mind. That was that was easy too. That was fast. Fast way to do it. They 4X the fees, but it's back to prior 2020 levels. Yeah, Stobie, yeah. 
the fees were just exorbitantly low in 2021 because a bunch of new traders were introduced in 2020. So the markets were seeing a lot more volume in 2020. So they lowered their fees for 2021 because they made so much money in 2020 that, yeah, this week they just re-upped back the fees, yeah. But, you know, that, that makes the one-minute scalp strategy way less viable if you're having to pay those kind of fees. So long live the two-minute scalp strategy. Woo! <laughs> okay. Okay. There is 45 seconds left in this bar. Yeah, I switched between one minute and five minute to get trades to come back. Well, you couldn't have told me that earlier, Vega. <sighs> <laughs> 30 in this trade. What a day. This has been a, a, a heck of a day. I mean, this is something you guys can look forward to more often, I think. I mean, now that we're trading larger time frames, we are expected to get larger moves per trade, right? That's the whole point of moving to the larger time frame is to get larger expected value out of each trade. Uh, so that one, we cut down the number of trades we take and two, we make more money each trade. That does not mean when I say that, it does not mean you make money every trade, please. But your expected value in each trade is larger. Right? It's the best way to outperform the fees. All right, new bar. Now, if it closes below this bar, we're out. What, Aaron? Not my text. What did you do? <laughs> did you just send a text message to Twitch chat instead of like to your family? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh. Uh, no, sync. So the low, the shorts, the shorts exiting if it closes above the low of previous bar. Sir Pillow, thank you for the follow. Now I gotta wait for this to go away. Sir, I'm trying to explain something. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but the short, getting out of the short if it closes above the low of previous bar and getting out of the high if it closes below the low of previous bar, I know they're like opposite. I know they're different. Um, but that's on purpose. It, it makes it makes more money that way. It just, you know, via backtesting, via code, we found it makes more money that way. So <laughs> you're on my TV and I use phone for chat. Oh, <laughs> you, you tried to send a voice text to your friend and it also sent it through Twitch. That's kind of funny. At least it wasn't something really bad. <laughs> That's funny though. <laughs> That could be, that could be, yeah, you might want to, you might want to be careful with that in the future. That could be really bad. <laughs> okay, there's 10 seconds left and we are right at the low of this candle. Let's hover over the flatten button. It's going to be close. Five seconds, two seconds. We are out here. Okay, we made, oh, I wasn't even looking. We made about a hundred bucks. We were, we were up 150 before that trade, right? Now we're up 250. Made about a hundred bucks in that trade. All righty, that wraps up the hour of live recorded trades I had for you all today. But you all know that my biggest loss I have ever taken using this system is coming. So let's go ahead and click on the chart page and see what transpired. I ended that morning session up about 250. We took the biggest loss and we're still up over $150. We're still up $154 today. Obviously, I will show you the biggest loss. It was this trade here. It actually happened not too long after I uh, ended stream, after the last trade you saw. Uh, we got short here at 389.79. Obviously, a SPY was weak and then breaking up above levels. We got short. Uh, unfortunately, it did start to move in our direction. Uh, just didn't quite get low enough. Did not break the low of four bars back, which at the time was this bar from here. So we did not get any opportunity to get out down here. And we got caught in a pretty big rip up. Ended up getting over 393.3. So in at 389.8 uh, up to 393. Uh, and then we ended up getting out at 392.8. So if I go ahead and pull over the trader view, we can look. Uh, you can now see largest gain, 330. 
$343. Largest loss, $300. Both of these are from today. Uh, this is the trade I just showed you, 389.7 to 392.8. Um, and then this was the win that you all saw out of the open. So both the largest win and the largest loss happened today. Both of them were over $300 movers, which is wild. But but we shouldn't be super surprised, right? We moved, we just moved this week to a two-minute strategy instead of a one-minute strategy. The point of that was to get this profit factor higher, was to get this average trade gain loss higher, which by the way, we've, we've been trading this for two days now. Is this the second or third? I believe this is the second day of trading this system. We went into trading this. Our average gain trade loss was... $1.90. We're already up to $2.53. This is already starting to move up, right? So it's, it's not super surprising that we're going to start seeing some bigger numbers fly around on each one of these trades. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. But that's funny. You know, largest gain, largest loss, both on the same day. At least the largest gain is still a little bit bigger than the largest loss. That makes me feel good. But uh, if we go now back over to the 60 days, uh, $154 made today. We're pushing into all-time highs on the profit since we started trading this system on the last day of February. It still has not been that long that we've been using this system. Uh, it's been what, like two and a half months, the last day of February to now, about two and a half months we've been using this system and we're up $1,900. We're continuing to develop the system, continuing to create great things. Um, and just, you know, the last two days, we're using a new system now of two minutes, $300 yesterday, 154 today, pushing into all time high profits at $1,900, just shy of that two grand. That's obviously our next kind of big mark or next big milestone. And we are pushing up towards that now. So let's go to the journal. I bet I haven't looked at this yet. I bet it looks wild. Yeah. Uh, obviously the first trade of the day had us flying. We actually came in. We're red after that biggest loss and a couple of more little chirpy trades. We actually gave it all up, but then we stuck to it. Kept trading. Obviously always trust the system. Got back up to a respectable $150. I mean, we're trading a hundred shares making over a hundred dollars is, is still a respectable day, right? And look, look at the volume, you know, these last two days, the volume is low as well, which is what we're looking for. Lower volume for larger profits to beat these new SEC FINRA fees that have been launched this week, right? That's kind of the whole purpose of moving to the two minute strategy. So far, so good albeit we are two days in, but so far so good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoy once again the transparency. I always show you my, my equity curve. I always show you my detailed stats. I gave away this algorithm in yesterday's video. If you're watching this and you want the algorithm, it's in yesterday's video, so you might have to go watch that as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Hopefully you all are learning the importance of mechanical edges. Look at how much better of a trader just since March this has made me, this mechanical edge has made me so much of a better trader. We were not doing like, I, I'm talking about today, I'm talking about making $150 today. Like it's like, a, eh, yeah, it's an okay day, I'm in $150. Bucks. It, before, before March, before this system, I would be talking like this about like a $30 day. I, my $30 days where I'm like, yeah, those are okay days. It's, it's insane how quick we've been able to start making more and more and more money as we developed a more and more mechanical edge to our to our trading system. So hopefully you guys are learning something along the way and getting and getting some entertainment from watching the live trades and the entertainment I try to mix in. Hopefully you enjoyed the dog cam today. Uh, you can let me know your thoughts. Ooh, voice crack. Voice is still kind of going. You can let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section down below. But hit the like button if you did make it this far. I'd really appreciate that. And hit the red subscribe button if you're new. You want to follow along, continue learning about mechanical edges, continue seeing my trades on the strategy every single day. Make sure you subscribe. It's free. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. I will catch you all in the next one.